Last year's great Scottish run wasn't quite as great as the organisers hoped. Some competitors said they thought the half marathon course was shorter than it should be. The route was re-measured over the weekend and it turns out they were right. John McManus takes up the story. Last minute checks before four officials get on their bikes to measure the length of the great Scottish run. The early hours of Sunday morning, the best time to do it with a police escort. They cycled the whole route. I caught up with them at Glasgow's Pollock Park. Well, many of the runners who took part in last year's event said that they thought the course was shorter than usual. Many runners, of course, carry their own personal mobile devices which measure the distance that they're running. Thousands of people took part in last year's half marathon. Today's news that the course was too short by nearly 150 metres or 164 yards means all their times are now invalid. The company behind the run says it made two mistakes. The course had to change in 2016 due to some scheduled uh, Scottish waterworks across the city. Uh, we found this out relatively late in the day and as a result had to make changes to what was the traditional route. We'd, uh, we'd worked on, on those plans and a measurement was taken, um, but unfortunately it transpires that this measurement was, was incorrect because it was taken on live roads rather than, um, rather than when the roads were closed. And competitors mistakenly followed an incorrect route through part of Bella Houston Park. Last year's winner, Callum Hawkins, who thought he'd also set a new course record, was unavailable for comment. But these runners exercising near the event's finishing line in Glasgow Green weren't surprised. I think a lot of people were suspicious for a while anyway. Um, lots of my friends have been sort of wondering for a while whether anything was going to come of it because their times were so much faster than what they were expecting to run. You know, you would be disappointed to find that you'd smashed your personal best and then all of a sudden it's taken away from you in one fail swoop. The great run company won't offer participants a refund, but is guaranteeing them a chance of glory in this year's race. John McManus, reporting Scotland, Glasgow.